dinner, I'm going to be cooking a courgette pie or a zucchini pie. Um, we found this recipe on Pinterest, I think. Um, we thought we'd try some different meals this week. So here's the ingredients. I've got some courgettes or zucchini. I've got some ground turmeric, um, some just roll puff pastry sheet. I've got a little bit of water in the jug. I've got some margarine, mushrooms, peas, some um, yogurt. This is the Alpro yogurt. Um, I've got an onion, some garlic, agave nectar, some white wine, and that's it. I just use some um, rapeseed oil for frying the uh, vegetables, and that's it. So quite simple ingredients. The first thing I'm going to do, as we have a lot of these recipes, is um, cut up an onion. This is a sort of medium-sized white onion. Just going to take the skin off and cut that up into little pieces and start that off in the pan. Next to cut is the um, courgettes, so I'm just going to slice these into thin slices and then they can go into the pan once the onion's nice and soft. Now the onions are softened up, I'm just going to put the courgette in. Start getting that nice and um, sort of brown where it's frying. While the courgettes are cooking away, I'm going to slice up the mushrooms. This recipe calls for about three cups of mushrooms. Although I might put a few more in just to bulk it up a little bit. I'm just using this cup as a, a guide, rough guide to how many we need. The courgettes are looking good now, so I'm going to add the mushrooms. Let them cook for a little while before I add the rest of the ingredients. Now the mushrooms have reduced down a bit, I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients and then let them simmer for about 20 minutes. So I'm gonna add the peas. It does actually, the recipe says about a quarter of a cup of peas, but I'm actually gonna chuck all of these in um, just cause they'll go to waste otherwise. Um, so might as well use them up. Um, we've got a um, half cup of white wine. Go in. We've got um, the water little bit of water. We've got um, the yogurt, plain yogurt. It's all in. We've got a tiny bit of um, brown turmeric. I think it said about an eighth of a teaspoon. So I'm just going to give it a little, little bit, which is just as well because we we've only got a little bit. Um, and then a teaspoon of agave nectar can go in. And then the one thing I didn't mention at the start was um, some nutritional yeast. So I'm just going to put a teaspoon of that in. And some black pepper. Just a bit of that. And that's everything. So I'm just going to mix that all together and that will simmer for 20 minutes until the liquid has turned to a nice sort of sauce so when it looks like it's a nice sort of quite thick sauce it's ready to go in the oven
that are pie filling has finished cooking now. So the sauce is nicely reduced. So what I'm going to do is um, put this all into the pie dish. All the filling is in the uh, pie dish. So I've got my puff pastry, my sheet of puff, puff pastry. So I'm just going to lay this over the top and then trim it to the right size so it covers the whole dish. With a little bit of a uh, overlap around the, the edge of the pie dish. Got a little bit left. I'm just going to push it in around the edges. I'm going to put this in the oven at 180 degrees C for half an hour and then I'm going to take the tin foil off the top so that the top can get golden brown.